Um, Your Excellency is present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Bishop of AGC, our friend, uh, Colonel Graham from Samaritan Pass, um, the World AGC Group led by Mr. Shofa, World Gospel Mission. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm really, really happy to be part of this momentous occasion when we celebrate this iconic building. And I thought it was meant for heart surgery and treating people. But I have been told, we have been told ably that it is actually a place to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, I must admit I have never seen a church like this. <laughs> Universal health coverage is central to our mission of enhancing the health of Kenyans, increasing efficiency in the provision of essential public services, mobilizing local and foreign investment to develop industrial capacity and competitiveness and complement national development efforts. One of our foremost fundamental commitment in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is ensuring that every Kenyan everywhere has access to quality and affordable health care at all times. All efforts and investments that complement this commitment are therefore very highly valued. The investment I see here speaks to the heart of our mission and agenda to make healthcare universally available and accessible to all Kenyans. Without a doubt, the official opening of the AGC Tenwek Hospital Cardiothoracic Center is a welcome and You know, many people would ask, what is a church doing? You know, an organization that's supposed to be 
they have become reliable, trusted partners of the government of Kenya in the delivery of health. The reason why we made healthcare one of our pillars in the next five years to make sure that we not only make health affordable, but also accessible. You are, by providing this facility, the kind of services that would be provided by this facility, people would need to travel to India to get them. But now, we don't have to. We can find the facilities here at home. And I must commend Samaritan Pass for, and all the other partners. I know many people have contributed to make this facility what it is today. And to complement these developments, the government is implementing bold healthcare sector reforms to enhance financing, regulation, investment, digitization, and the provision of adequate skilled and motivated professional personnel to deliver UHC. Towards this end, I signed four key laws last year the Social Health Insurance Act, the Primary Health Act, the Digital Health Act, and the Facility Improvement Financing Act. Through the Social Health Insurance Act, the Social Health Authority has been established to replace the National Hospital Insurance Fund and administer primary health care funds in a way that ensures every Kenyan, especially those who are needy, vulnerable, or living with chronic conditions receive high quality care. Primary health care is now free at all dispensaries and health, and health centers as well as selected hospitals while ambulance and emergency services are available nationwide free of charge. And I want to say this, that uh, many people ask me, why do we have to pay for other Kenyans? Why do we have to pay? for the vulnerable. How is it our business? And I want to encourage all of us that either we contribute or finally we will end up in Harambe and we will still contribute. So I think it is much more structured if you um, contributed through uh, Shif and Shah. I think that way it is more structured, it's more organized, and it is our intention to make sure that we get rid of the Arambes that are going in villages, going on in villages and places for people who require um, health care uh, provision. It is our intention to make it much more easier. In the past, facilities had to be subjected to a lot of um, unnecessary hurdles. Today, under the UHC program, hospitals, so long as they are registered by the professional body that is in charge of registration, they don't need to know any officer of the social health authority. They will automatically be brought into the ecosystem to provide health care anywhere in Kenya. Secondly, through the digital ecosystem that we are building, we want to get rid of inefficiencies, we want to get rid of pilferage, and we want to get rid of loss of funds and corruption that had undermined significantly the National Health Insurance Fund. It is through this mechanism that we can reinstate the trust of citizens on a healthcare system that is leakage free. And thirdly, We've had serious challenges, and I have never met members of uh, the clergy who have not asked me, Mr. President, what about refunds from NHIF? Including this morning, in this hospital, I was being asked, NHIF owes this hospital 550 million. That's, that's a huge amount of money by any standard. We want to get rid of this challenge of funding. And I want to promise you that uh, we are taking steps, as I announced on uh, my statement in uh, Mashuja Day. Um, today, the money that I promised, 3 billion shillings, is now with Shah. It will be, I'm sure, 
the uh, administrator of this hospital. You will get some money. You know, maybe not the whole, maybe not the whole 500, maybe 100, maybe 200 million. And we will continue this journey because it is my intention to make sure that we have a fit for purpose health delivery system that leaves nobody behind. And it is also our intention to make sure that it is not discriminatory. For a very long time, people with jobs, people who can afford are the ones who went to hospital. We want to make it universal and we want to make everybody, including those who are vulnerable, including the poor, can go to hospital be treated the same way all of us go to hospital and we are, and we are treated. Primary health care, as I have said, is uh, now uh, being delivered in our hospitals and under the health, social health authority, the package of eligible benefits include cover for specialized services like cathothoracic uh, surgeries, which will be offered at this new center to the best global standards and available to every Kenyan who will be registered. And I want to ask citizens of our country, we've asked members of the provincial administration from chiefs um, to everybody to make sure that every citizen is registered. We've also engaged our uh, community health promoters to make sure that every citizen is registered. And I want to ask every Kenyan, wherever you are, the first step that you must take is to be registered. That way, we will have you in our database and we will be able to begin the journey to make sure that we can account for every citizen and we can account for whatever prevalence of diseases in different parts of the country and prepare ourselves. Because it is said, forewarned is forearmed so that we can prepare ourselves better to deal with the health challenges that face our country. So I'm asking every citizen, wherever we are, to make sure that you're registered. I'm very happy that we are making very steady progress. In the last one month, we have registered and brought on board 13 million Kenyans. We believe that this exercise can be concluded in the next two to three months. We will, should be able to have every Kenyan uh, registered so that we can be able to have the requisite information for us to um, undertake this very important uh, program of managing the health of our citizens. Let me also say um, that the authority, the social health authority, will enable millions of Kenyans access advanced care at facilities like this one without worrying about exorbitant costs. Similarly, the Digital Health Act has been enacted to provide a robust framework for streamlining healthcare processes through digitization, covering every aspect of patient registration to the verification and payment of claims. This framework significantly enhances transparency in healthcare service provision and helps eliminate corruption. We have incidences where some hospitals in the past had more accountants than medical personnel because the story was to generate as many fake claims as there could be. That must be brought to an end. And I'm very confident that the digital system that we have put on, on, on in, in place will sort out that problem. We are keen to make sure that every cent that is made available through this program is spent in ensuring that we treat the people of Kenya as Jesus heals them. This framework significantly enhances the transparency as I have said, and since July 2024, 13 million Kenyans have been registered with SHA and all public facilities are now integrated with the system, while half of private facilities across the country have been registered. The private facilities that among those that have been registered and that are in this system 
is Tenwek Hospital. And I must congratulate Tenwek for leading the way. We invite the people of Kenya to experience dignity, efficiency and transparency, and professionalism under our UHC model. The center we are opening today represents this new era for healthcare in Kenya with world-class care and make it accessible to as many people as possible. It is also an institution As we celebrate the opening of the 10 Work Mission Hospital Cardiothoracic Center, I must emphasize the essential value of prevention and the, the healthcare practitioners in Kenya and all the people who have come together. I know there are some outstanding issues that have been requested from different um, stakeholders. Let me uh, give assurance to um, the missionary community who have requested us to review their work permits and their visa requirements for them and scale them down. Uh, I want to agree with you that uh, that is an area that is of concern to missionaries and therefore we will reconsider our position and bring missionary class of visas to the level that you have requested so that we can be able to um, continue to work with you as you provide service to our nation. I thank the World Gospel Mission, the Africa Gospel Church, and the Tenwe community for their exemplary and transformative service to this region and to our nation since 1937. I also express my gratitude to Samaritan Pass for their critical support for this project and for um, my good friend, uh, the grandson of Billy Graham. Let me describe you that way, for coming all the way to be part of this event today. It demonstrates your commitment to humanity and it demonstrates Samaritan past commitment to service to humanity as you serve God. So we, we are truly grateful. Please take our greetings to Franklin and to your family and to all the people in that space. I know Bishop has said that uh, people like Russell White can we clap for that gentleman? Applause 
people like Russell uh, White deserve to be our heroes. I think Bishop, they deserve more. I mean, sometimes you wonder how saints look like and whether they walk. I must say, looking at White, he belongs to the sainthood. You know, people who commit their lives, move away from their countries, go with their families to serve humanity. They are nothing but saints. And so, to you, uh, Russell, and your team, and to the many dedicated people who've thought about this, agonized about it, planned about it, and today, we celebrate the reality. We are truly grateful to you and to the men. To Colonel Kram, please convey our appreciation to your entire team and to their excellent work, selfless dedication, and invaluable contribution. The ten work, ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to declare the Tenwek Mission Hospital Cathedral Center opened. God bless you. God bless all of us. God bless Kenya and all our friends and partners. Asante sana. Thank you very much.